Eddie, you've named your 23 to face Argentina. I'm interested, when did you decide on this 23? Uh, it's been evolving, you know, we had a picture of the team about three, week, three or four weeks ago, but certain players have come in certain conditions and, and so that's varied the selection a little bit, but it's our, our best 23 because it's our most important game. It's our next test against Argentina and they're a, they're a strong team, you know, they were World Cup semi-finalists in 2015 and we want to make sure we put our best 23 out there. You know, we're so excited about playing in front of 82,000 at Twickenham again and, you know, we're all in this together and we're looking forward to playing a, a, a good game of rugby against Argentina. No Itoje, no Farrell. Why have you rested them? Uh, they've had pretty heavy workloads with uh, the Lions Tour and we're uh, continuing them on a reconditioning program. We're not sure how long that'll go for, whether that goes for another two weeks or or we bring them back for Australia, we'll play that a little bit by ear. A Slady at 12's impressed us at 13. Opportunity at 12 where you know, he's got the distribution skills, he's got the defensive capabilities and he's got the, the speed and pace to travel sides. So we're excited about that. Uh, JJ's back into the team at 13, he's done really well for Bath. Come back with a you know, great energy, great commitment. So those two together, I think, is quite exciting for us. Jay Launchbury's uh, going to finish the game for us. Courtney and, and George will start. Charlie Eels and Nick Zikwe um, having made the 23, have had excellent uh, preparations with us and they'll compete for spots later on in the tournament. Who will be your number eight cover? Uh, well, Chris Robshaw can play eight. Um, he, he'll fill in there if we need him to do, but we're expecting Nathan to play 80. Argentina's a a, f a funny team in that they've still got the traditions of, of a strong set piece, but then they've got this ability to attack from anywhere. Uh, we saw last year they can score from their own line and they're you know, very good at unstructured attack. Um, so we need to make sure we control the ball well, make sure when we've got the ball we attack their weak areas and are very disciplined with the ball.